Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about my favorite winter nail polishes. I know winter is almost over and I meant to do this video a lot earlier during this time of the year, but um, I just kept like pushing it back and now we're almost into spring, but I figure better late than ever. So um, as you will be able to see, I tend to wear a lot of like the dark nail polishes like everybody else does. So um, so we're just going to go ahead and get into it. A lot of this is OPI and I'm sorry, but I just really, really love OPI. I have a couple SC, um, like two China glazes, one Sephora by, o Sephora by OPI and then the rest are OPI. So, um, we'll do the blues first. I kind of separated them into categories. So this one is by China Glaze. This one's very like a bright blue. Can you see how bright that is? It's super, it's coming up brighter on camera than it is in person. But this is called Frostbite. I don't know. Like I said, this is coming up a lot brighter on camera, but this is it's kind of bright in person, but it's not as bright as it's showing up. Um, it's still a little bit dark, but I just really like this. I like, I like if I want a little bit of color, um, but still kind of keeping with like the darkness of the winter time, then I usually reach for this. I usually wear this more on my toes and then like a darker nail polish on my fingers. So that's when I usually wear on my toes, but that's Frostbite by China Glaze. Then we have this one by SC. It's kind of like a grayish, bluish color. This is called Bobbing for Bobbles. So, like I said, this is kind of like a grayish blue color. Um, it's not really shimmery, it's just kind of, it has a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not like super like glittery, sparkly, um, but it does have a nice sheen to it, so. Then this other one by Essie has a lot of glitter in it, and this is also in the kind of bluish family. This is called Starry Starry Night. Can you see the glitter in that? I just think this color is really pretty, also because I love glitter. It's kind of a pain in the butt to take off, but I can put up with it. Like I said, this is called Starry Starry Night, which I think is like the cutest name for this nail polish because it's so pretty. I found this at like TJ Maxx for like $3. Like I said, I just love the glitter in this. so. Then, let's go to red. This is by OPI. This is just like a basic red nail polish. And this is called Big Apple Red. It's kind of looking like orange on camera, but it's definitely not. It's just like a basic red. Big Apple Red. It's just like a candy apple red, like just a basic kind of like Marilyn Monroe, like red nail polish. So that's big apple red. Um, this one's kind of like, kind of like a more like reddish, purplish, maroonish kind of color. This one is called Miami Beat. Yeah, I would say this is definitely the, like the color of like a beat. Um, like I said, it's kind of like red, kind of like it's kind of like red and purple, kind of like mixed together. It's not exactly red, and it's not exactly purple. Then we have, we'll do this one. 
This one is a really popular one by China Glaze and it's called Ruby Pumps and it's super glittery. Look at that, that's gorgeous. Like I said, it's called Ruby Pumps, which I love this because of the glitter. And I think the name is so cute because it's like inspired by like the um, Dorothy shoes from like the Wizard of Oz. That is, I usually wear this one at like Christmas time. Um, usually like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, I'm usually wearing this. And then here's like one of my favorite kind of like reddish colors. This one's a a little bit of a darker red. It's called Bogata Blackberry. See what I mean? It's like a little bit of a darker red, which I've used like so much of the, I think the bottle's like down to here. I've used this so much. Bogata Blackberry. This was like one of my very first like OPI nail polish purchases. I just love this color so much. And then we'll go into like the taupey gray kind of colors. Um, this one is the Sephora by OPI and this one is called Metro Chic. I don't think they make this line anymore at Sephora. So this one's kind of old. If you have this you probably know what I'm talking about. So. Metro Chic. Which is, this one is supposed to be similar to another nail polish that I'm about to show you. As you can see, I've used this one a lot too. And it's supposed to be similar to this OPI one that's called You Don't Know Jacques. Personally, I like this one better. You don't know Jacques. I mean, they're pretty, they're kind of similar, but one's a little bit more like a purpley gray and one's a little bit more, this one's a little bit more darker. I mean, they're both really pretty, so. A lot of people use this, this color was really popular a couple years ago on YouTube. And everybody said that the Sephora by OPI one was similar. And when you look at it um, online, it does look similar. But like when you see them in person next to each other, they're very different. So, but they're both gorgeous colors. I love these colors, even if they're not popular anymore. I still wear them all the time. And this is another color that's kind of similar. Is Essie's Merino Cool. Again, it's kind of like the grayish taupey color. Merino Cool. So, I like those colors. And then, like, my favorite nail polishes to wear during the fall or the winter time, well, I just like fall and winter, is like the very, like, dark, um, Almost like black looking, but they're not exactly black. One of th one of them is black, and I think the other two are like a dark purple and then like a dark purple kind of like blue color. So I'll show you the black one first. This one's by the OPI by Hello Kitty collection. Um, it's called Never Have Too Man like Manny like manicure um, friends. So this is just like a basic black. Um, never have too many friends. So basic black. Um, this one is Lincoln Park After Dark, which is a very, very, very dark purple. It's like one of my favorites. You can't see it, but I've used this one up a lot too. Again, it's like probably down to like here maybe. It's Lincoln Park After Dark. I think I bought this one the same time I bought the Bogata Blackberry and I use them both constantly. I think these two colors are what I usually have on my nails during the fall and the winter. And this last color 
So if it's not one of those two, it's, then, then it would be this one. Um, this is Russian Navy by OPI. This is kind of like a bluish purple. This one's definitely a lot more shimmery than Lincoln Park After Dark. Russian Navy. So this one's Lincoln Park After Dark and this one's Russian Navy. So this one's like more purplish and this one's got like more bluish purple in it. So that's it. Um, like I said, I know some of these colors are really old, um, but I don't care. I just really like these colors. So hopefully you found some new ones. Um, if you have any favorite nail polishes that you like to wear during the winter time, let me know because I'm always looking for new ones. And I will see you guys later. Bye everyone.